In this video, I will tell you about one of my favorite AI image generation tools, OpenArt. OpenArt gives you possibility to create really stunning images, give the possibility to share these images and create a lot of them. So the bulk option is one of my favorite features. And of course, it's pretty easy in editing. So from previous videos, you know that my uh, favorite animal in AI is baby sloths. I think that uh, everyone can be like sloths in AI using these tools. You can be really lazy, but still effective. So let's see how uh, open art can help me with image generations and what can be the difference. As usual, we can start from some prompt. We can ask to create cute uh, baby sloths. And so let's see how it works. Uh, you see uh, the first four uh, generations, uh, they have different styles and different formats because it was just the basic prompt. Uh, we talked about how you can enhance this prompt with ChatGPT. You saw that I have my own uh, GPT, which creates better prompts for um, all AI generation tools. But in this case, we have really great options. You don't need to go to ChatGPT and you can make it faster and easier just with quick enhance. We are clicking quick enhance and we have the big detail prompt. So uh, cute baby sloths, adorable and fluffy, large expressive eyes, uh, hanging playfully from the branch, etc. So we have the big prompt. If we want to customize something here, uh, we can go and do it just in a few clicks too. Uh, let's try to generate from this prompt. You see these four photos and uh, they have a big difference from the first four generations. And in this case, they will be also improved. Uh, I also like to use image to image generation. So if you have one photo which you liked, you can use it as uh, an example that you will implement in further generations. So I like these four, but uh, this guy looks for me even more cute and more uh, usable for our creatives, for Facebook ads, uh, Instagram, and other social media activities. If we talk about the basic generations, uh, the image to image creations can be done here. Uh, we can uh, add style references if it's needed. So you can change in any style. Uh, you can add pose references, composition references, face reference. And uh, there are advanced features that we also can implement here. Uh, of course, if you need to change the size, so you want to get the square, landscape, cinema, art print, etc., you feel free to check it here. As I've mentioned previously, one of my favorite features in uh, OpenArt, it's easy to use editor. Uh, it's classical editor, and at the same time, you can use some AI features. For example, I really love this baby sloth. Uh, let's try to do something here. Let's edit it. Let's go to the editing and let's see how it works. So uh, this is our web is loss. Um, for example, I don't like the background. Let's go to the background. Uh, let's uh, remove the background and I want to change something. I want to change the background. Let's wait a bit while uh, OpenArt will find the background. And after it will be detected, we can change it. Uh, to any stuff we need. So we have uh, the basic idea. I want to make our sloths in office. I want our sloths to be in office. I don't need four images. I have just one enough. Let's see how it will work in office. It can be some office door or some secretary room. And let's see our sloths in the office. So background change is first pretty useful. We see that uh, the background changer in uh, open art is pretty cute and smart. Uh, if uh, my haircut can be easily uh, removed by background, uh, sloths has a lot of hairs. And uh, we see that this one works good. It's hanging somewhere in office. And um, this is the possibility to change any background you want. Uh, we can in paint, we can remove, we can expand. So if you like some photo like this and you want to give more opportunities and you want to make it bigger, like more vertical, more horizontal, so uh, feel free to create options. 
and just in a few clicks you will get the more optional results of the bigger photo. Uh, of course, all the basic stuff with stylization, uh, face changes, uh, editing, blend layers, uh, etc. It can be done here. Uh, I also love find the replace feature. For example, you can ask to find on this picture, I don't know, uh, some flower and to change it to banana. So it also can be done. All editing history is available in any moment. So you can go back, uh, find the photos you like and change everything you want. So here we see uh, the picture. It's a um, really good one. Uh, so we can work and uh, change everything we want just in a few clicks. And if we want to upscale, so it also can be done here. As I've mentioned previously, another my big favorite uh, option that I like uh, in open art is bulk creations. Uh, you can uh, start uh, creating uh, a lot of photos uh, you need just with prompts. You can uh, create a CSV with ChatGPT. Uh, in case you know need a lot of photos, for example, you have some product business, commerce business, etc. Uh, the bulk creation is uh, really must have. So uh, if we try to summarize, open art is a great tool if you need to create a lot of creatives and images. It's a great tool if you have to edit regularly what you've got with AI. And in the previous cases, especially if you talk about the basic generating of images in Dali, we understand that we want to change something to edit. We don't just want to click this uh, rare uh, creating button, but uh, in case of open Open art, everything is possible. So feel free to register in Open Art. Uh, try to create the free account. See how it works. Uh, make the first generations. Uh, try to enhance the prompt. Share your experience in the Q and A session. And feel free to ask any questions. And I will see you in the next video.